This is Dr. Mahesh Kalyan Shetty, working as associate professor in Department of Civil Engineering, Valchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. Today, we will discuss about three-phase system of soil. The learning outcome of this session will be: at the end of this session, student will be able to identify the three-phase system of soil along with its associated properties. Now we know that the soil deposits comprises the accumulated soil particles plus the white space between the particles. The white spaces are partially or completely filled with water or any other liquid. And also the white spaces not occupied by the fluid are filled with air or other gases. Therefore, we can say that the soil deposits are referred to as three phase system that is soil solid plus liquid plus gas now in the picture on the left hand side you can see a typical soil mass now this soil mass basically consists soil solid as well as air and as well as water now this these component parts can be represented on the right hand side now you can see this soil mass is shown with the help of these constituent parts so S indicates the soil solid, W indicates the water, and A indicates the air. So in this way, in this soil mass, we can see all the soil solid, air, and water components are present. Now this is a typical picture wherein we can see a soil solid represented by a brown color, and water which is represented by blue color, and air which is represented by white color. So in this way, graphic, uh, diagrammically, we can represent the three-phase system. These components are collectively shown like on the right-hand side as it is called three-phase system of soil where we have soil solid, water and air. So in this way, the soil mass can be represented by three-phase system of soil. However, all the time, the soil may not have all the three components present. There may be two-phase system of soil also. As shown in the picture, the soil mass comprises soil solid and water only. So there is no air as you can see here. Therefore, this is an example of two-phase system that is a saturated soil. So where we have only two components present, solid and water. The another example of two-phase system would be a dry soil where we can see that we have only soil solid and air wide so there is no water present at all so this situation we get in case of perfectly dry soil and this two phase system can be represented by solid and air only so for the purpose of study and analysis it is convenient to represent the soil by three phase diagram with part of the diagram representing the solid particles and part representing water and another part representing air or gas. Therefore, in the picture we can see a general three-phase system which shows solid, water and air. And now we can show the various uh, volume component and weight components to this three-phase system. So on the left hand side we can have all the volume components where we can see this Vt is the total volume of soil, Vb is the volume of whites, which uh, volume of white comprises air and water and volume of soil solid is represented by Vs. In the same way, on the right hand side we can show all the weight components. So we can see on the right hand side Wa, so weight of air usually we neglect, therefore it is equal to 0. Then WW is weight of water, Ws is weight of soil solid. Thus the total weight is represented by Wt. So with this un basic understanding, we can derive many properties of the soil. So few of the properties we will discuss today. So the one property which we can uh, define from the three-phase system is called as White's ratio, which is generally represented by symbol E. So White's ratio is nothing but its ratio of volume of whites and volume of soil solid. And mathematically it is written as VV upon VS. The second property is porosity, which is usually expressed by small n in percentage, which is given by volume of whites divided by total volume of soil sample, 
and mathematically we can write it as vv upon vt into 100. The third property is the degree of saturation which is usually represented by a symbol S and this particular degree of saturation is given by this equation. The it is a ratio of total volume of water in the whites divided by total volume of whites. So mathematically it is represented by Vw divided by Vv into 100. So we can refer all this equation with respect to this particular three phase system and we can define the various parameters. The next property is the percentage air whites which is represented by an A which is given by a ratio of volume of air divided by total volume of soil that is VA upon VT. So on the diagram we can see VA and VT. Next property is the air content which is usually denoted by small a and subscript c which is nothing but it's a ratio of volume of air to the volume of whites that is VA upon VV. So in the diagram we can see VA with the volume of air divided by volume of whites. So with this understanding let us go for some questions so it's a I will uh, request you to take a pause and answer these two MCQ questions which are based on the earlier discussion. The first question is the percent air whites in fully saturated soil is so I have given four options so you have to select the correct option for that and the second question is which one of the following is the valid range of whites ratio so again four options are available so just think over this and get the correct answer and then you can resume the videos. Welcome back. I hope you got the answer of both the MCQ questions. Let us discuss the answer of these questions. The first question which I asked is the percent the percent air whites in fully saturated soil is so four options as it is given. So since it is a saturated soil so we can refer the equation of percent air whites so that is Na which is given by volume of air whites divided by volume of soil solid. So since it is a fully saturated soil the volume of air white will be 0 therefore 0 upon Vt the answer will be 0 therefore the correct option of this question is A. In the same way I ask you another question which one of the following is the valid range of whites ratio. So these are the four options available and uh, this answer can be given again with the help of this equation as we earlier discussed whites ratio is given by volume of whites divided by volume of solids that is VV upon Vs. So with respect to this three phase system again we can see the volume of whites divided by volume of soil solid. So there may be various possibilities of the answer. So let us look at the options. A option is 0 which is not possible and the B option where it uh, says that the E value is greater than 0 but less than 1. So which is not a possible case here because E may be greater than 1 also if uh, volume of whites is more than volume of solid it can be more than 1. In C option again uh, E is greater than or equal to 0 or less than or equal to 1. So this option also is not valid one whereas the D E is equal to 0 so this is the possible solution for this case therefore the answer of this question will be D. So with this understanding let us proceed further now in the earlier slides we discussed the volumetric ratios now let us go for weight ratios and uh, in connection with the weight ratio we have one property which is called water content of the soil. So water content is nothing but it is a ratio of weight of water to the weight of soil solid. Mathematically it is expressed as WW upon WS and again in the figure we can see weight of water divided by weight of soil solid this gives you a water content. So weight of soil solid is nothing but weight of dry soil so therefore we can also say that water content is weight of water divided by weight of dry soil. Now we have various soil unit weights again with respect to the three phase system we can define all these unit weights. First one is the dry unit weight which is given by a ratio of weight of soil solid divided by total volume of soil. It means weight of soil solid means weight of dry soil. So we can see here weight of dry soil divided by 
total volume of soil gives us dry unit weight in the second way in the same way second is the total weight bulk or moist unit weight which is represented by simply gamma or gamma b this is given by this expression bulk density is nothing but total weight of soil divided by total volume of soil so again it's very simple total weight is wt divided by total volume is vt now and from this uh, it is also indicated that the density or unit weight or ratios which connects the volumetric side of the phase diagram with the mass or weight side there are few more unit weights next is the saturated unit weight again saturated unit weight means uh, all the weights are filled with water therefore degree of saturation will be 100 percent and there is no air so saturated density is the weight of soil solid plus water divided by total volume of soil in the same way the next unit weight is a submerged unit weight so when the soil mass is in a submerged condition we can define this submerged weight so it is a ratio of weight of submerged soil divided by total volume of soil so these are the various unit weight of soil mass which are expressed with respect to three phase system so these are the references which i have referred for this presentation gopal ranjan and dr b c punmya textbooks thank you thank you very much